Hello, and welcome to Top Select 10. Are you ready for the ultimate adrenaline rush? In this video, we're diving into the top 10 best action movies that deliver explosive stunts, intense fight scenes, and unforgettable moments. Whether you're into pulse-pounding car chases, high-octane shootouts, or heroic battles, these films are guaranteed to leave you on the edge of your seat. From modern classics like Mad Max, Fury Road and John Wick to timeless icons like Die Hard and Gladiator, this list celebrates the best of action cinema, perfect for movie buffs or anyone looking for their next epic binge watch. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your favorite action movies in the comments below. Let's get the action started. Number 10. Headshot. Headshot is an Indonesian action film. Uwais plays a young man who washes ashore, an amnesiac with a serious head injury whose past comes back to haunt him shortly after being nursed back to health by a young doctor. Violence ensues. Sweet. Sweet violence. It is a very good movie. It shows nice martial arts moves. Without having people that fly actors all are good. Lee is the best in this movie, better than a lot of movies, there is always something going on, and you feel attracted to keep following, there is no much talking going on and little of action, and the action scenes are nice to watch. I recommend this movie specially to people that likes martial arts. It received generally positive reviews from critics with praise for its cast performances, particularly U Weiss and Ilan, direction, and action sequences. Number 9. The Guest. The Guest is an American action, thriller film. A soldier introduces himself to the Peterson family, claiming to be a friend of their son who died in action. After the young man is welcomed into their home, a series of accidental deaths seem to be connected to his presence. The film is very fast-paced with surprisingly some humor throughout. There was a lot of gruesome fight scenes, but I get the reasons why they were there. Dan Stevens was a complete shocker with his performance. If you remember him from Downtown Abbey, his performance here is amazing. He portrays a brilliant character, and he does an amazing American accent. All the actors were perfectly cast for this movie. I loved My Common Row. She reminded me a lot of Brittany Murphy and Gwen Stefani. The ending was totally not expected and I loved every bit. The music played reminded me a bit of Drive soundtrack, but worked brilliant with this movie. I truly recommend the movie. Number 18. Unstoppable. Unstoppable is an American disaster action thriller film. Will Coulson is starting a new job as a train conductor for the railroad. He is assigned to work with Frank Barnes, a veteran train engineer. Initially, there's some tension between them. Later, a train that is carrying chemicals is running with no one controlling it. It is feared that if it stops or crashes into a populated area, it could disastrous. Connie, an exec suggests derailing it, but the man in charge refuses to do that on account of what it will cost. When attempts to stop it fail, there's fear of what they can do. But when Frank and Will have a close call with it, Frank decides to stop it themselves by coupling onto it. Will is not sure about it, but sticks with Frank. It received generally positive reviews from critics and grossed $167.8 million against a production budget between $85 to $100 million. It was nominated for an Oscar for Best Sound Editing at the 83rd Academy Awards and for Best Action Movie at the 2011 Critics' Choice Movie Awards, but lost to Inception in both cases. Number 7. The Expendables 2. Barney Ross is approached by CIA man Church, who wants him and his guns for hire to go to the former Soviet Union to retrieve something that was on a plane that crashed. Church doesn't tell him what he is getting, and Church sends a woman, Maggie, with him to make sure he gets it. They find the plane and get the thing, but some men take one of Barney's people hostage, and the leader tells him to give him what they got, or he'll kill his hostage. They give it to him, but he kills his hostage anyway. Barney asks Maggie what was so important about that thing. She says that it showed the location of a Russian plutonium storage mine. Barney decides to track the man down and deal with him. They track them down and discover that the man they seek is Villain, who leads a group known as the Sangs, and that they have taken all the men from the surrounding villages to work the mine. Number 6. The Night Comes for Us At the height of its power, the Southeast Asian Triad controls 80% of Asia's smuggling activities. Utilizing the notorious Golden Triangle as the main hub, the Triad profits heavily from illegal drugs, weapons, and human trafficking. To keep the channels free from chaos and outside disturbance, the Triad leaders created a small formation of elite delegates called the Six Seas, which allowed them free reign to perform extreme measures all in the name of order and obedience. The Six Seas are six men and women, all their identities anonymous. For those who thought that the Raid 1 and 2 were the last word in kinetic, ultra-brutal martial arts movies, think again. The Night Comes for Us, from director Timo Jajanto, is a strong contender for the most excessively violent, blood-drenched action flick ever made. The film's many fight scenes are wonderfully choreographed and flawlessly executed, 
Jehanto's breathtaking direction employing shooting techniques that are guaranteed to astound, although it's the sheer quantity of blood and guts that really impresses. Number 5. Crank. Poisoned by the potent and deadly mix of synthetic drugs called the Beijing Cocktail, for getting in the way of the triads, the tough-as-nails British hitman living in Los Angeles, Chev Kilios, wakes up with a terrible headache. With less than an hour to live, Chev will have to use all the help he can get from his doctor and use every trick in the book to consistently keep his heart rate up so that the adrenaline in his bloodstream staves off the effects of the deadly toxin. Now, his heart is pounding faster than any other human being, and as Kilios darts across the city streets in search of an antidote and the arrogant criminal, Ricky Verona, to exact his revenge, he finds himself compelled to pick fights with no-nonsense drug dealers, murderous assassins, and an army of thugs. Number 4. The Equalizer Robert McCall is a former special service commando who faked his own death in hopes of living out a quiet life. Instead, he comes out of his self-imposed retirement to save a young girl, and finds his desire for justice reawakened after coming face-to-face -face with members of a brutal Russian gang. McCall becomes the go-to man when the helpless require the kind of vengeance they would never find without his skills. Denzel Washington is just great and the equalizer belongs like the John Wick, Keanu Reeves, and Taken, Liam Neeson, movies to the new masterclass of revenge-slash-vigilante movies. The Equalizer is a true-to-the-heart successor of our former, or still, heroes of long-gone times like Mr. Eastwood and Mr. Bronson. The King is dead, long live the King, so to say. The Equalizer is great stuff, if you like your actions spiced up with a good shot of violence. Number 313 Assassins In 1844, the peace of feudal Japan is threatened by cruel Lord Naritsugu Matsudaira, who is politically rising and getting closer to his half-brother, the Shogun. After the harakiri of the Namiya clan leader, Samurai Shinzaman Shimada is summoned by the Shogun's advisor Sir Doi of the Akashi clan to listen to the tragedy of Makino Anim, whose son and daughter-in-law have been murdered by Naritsugu. Then Sir Doi shows a woman with arms, legs, and tongue severed by Naritsugu and she writes with her forearm a request to Shinza to slaughter Naritsugu and his samurai. Shinza promises to kill Naritsugu and he gathers eleven other samurais, and plots a plan to attack Naritsugu in his trip back to the Akashi land. But the cunning samurai Hanbei Kitu that is responsible for the security of his master foresees Shinza's intent. Shinza decides to go with his samurai through the mountain, where they find the hunter Koyata that guides them off the mountain and joins the group. Now the thirteen men prepare an ambush to Naritsugu and his army of two hundred samurai in a suicide mission to stop evil. Number 2. Drive. A young man, who shall be referred to as the driver, has several jobs all related to vehicles, and all at which he is extremely good, movie stunt driver, mechanic, and getaway driver for criminals. In the latter job, he drives, no more and no less, the no more including not carrying a gun, but he takes his job seriously in making a clean getaway, while keeping his clients safe during their time in the car. The driver's mechanic boss, Shannon, who often gets him and oversees his stunt jobs, wants to expand their horizons by getting into the racing business. Shannon convinces a mob acquaintance, Bernie Rose, and Bernie's associate Nino to finance this venture after Bernie meets the driver. Concurrently, the driver starts to fall for one of his neighbors, Irene, and her young son, Benicio. Irene's husband, Standard Gabriel, is a petty criminal currently in prison. Solely to protect Irene and Benicio, the driver gets involved in Standard's criminal life once Standard is released from prison. That criminal life takes an unexpected turn which threatens not only the driver's relationship with Irene and Benicio and his possible new life as a race car driver, but his life, period, as Standard ends up unwittingly being connected back to Rose and Nino. Number 1. Mission. Impossible Rogue Nation. After an excoriating official U.S. government review of its history of questionable missions with high stakes and considerable collateral damage, the IMF is disbanded. Regardless, Ethan Hunt is undeterred from his personal mission to stop a sinister counter-organization to the IMF, the Syndicate. Now a fugitive from the CIA, Hunt secretly calls his colleagues together to accomplish that, which soon also involves a mysterious woman who has an agenda of her own with those criminals. With both sides playing deadly complex games of intrigue, Hunt and his team must take even more risk with difficult options to protect the world. It was an absolute privilege to bear witness to the Mission, Impossible film series. Among them, Mission, Impossible 5, Rogue Nation stands out as an unyielding spectacle, enthralling the audience with its captivating sequences from start to finish. Both MI4 and MI5 commence with unparalleled intensity, leaving the viewers perched on the edge of their seats right from the opening moments. Mere minutes into the film, we are graced with Ethan Hunt's breathtaking stunt, 
catapulting us into a gripping and superbly crafted plot. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, like and share the video thank you.